So now we're looking at a 2010 sculpture titled Sojourner Solar Reef, also by Andy Langusis. And while he was painting in traditional oil on canvas paintings, things where the past and the present collided, he could confidently paint in, in a very crisp, realistic way because we know the past and we know the present. But when he decided he wanted to extend his artwork and start thinking about the future, he realized that this confidence about what things look like left him. And so he had to open up his imagination in a different way. And instead of thinking about bringing lots of different elements that already exist together into one space, he realized he was at one space, this very present moment, and that it could go forward into many different ways. So it was sort of the opposite way of thinking, which led him to a dramatically different way of, of working. So he created a series of cast uh, aluminum and bronze sculptures, and we were able to acquire one of his bronze sculptures uh, from a 2010 exhibition. And the idea of Sojourner is tied to this idea about time and travel, of course, because uh, for him, this is all about humankind, humanity, and the fact that whether we realize it or not, we are sojourners. We are tied by gravity to a planet which is moving at an amazing speed, rotating, going around the sun, um, and we're just part of that. And so that's part of the sojourner part of it. And the other part is that we are pr proceeding through time. And so he tried to think of how to project into the future this, this notion of, of travel and time. And he realized that the thing that kind of connects us uh, together, past and present, is the sun. And so that's the solar reef part of it. The polished bronze, this is a, a cast bronze piece, um, the inner polished part represents the sun, the brilliance of the sun. And um, though virtually every elementary school student uh, who comes here and questions whether it is or is not a time portal, um, it is not a time portal. It is simply a representation of the sun. What he's done on the outside is create a symbolic representation of both the natural and the man-made world that sits on Earth, has grown from Earth as a result of, of life being here, uh, with life that emanates from the sun. And so he, had, he took a variety of found materials in many cases to uh, help make the cast for this, sort of bits and pieces of things, um, a random assortment, knowing that the future itself is unknowable. So he was just taking whatever he could and making holes and things that stick out of the sun with different textures. There's a really wide variety of textures when you get up close to this, um, as this notion of what the future holds for us as we sojourn around the sun and through time. So very different from the painting, but for him it was all about coming up a way, with a way of thinking. For, it was convergent thinking where everything comes together for the painting. And then when it came to the sculpture, he went divergent, starting at one point and then spreading out. So even artists who, who have one definable strong style or concept that they work from they can shift gears pretty easily and that's that's one of the things that i love about artists is finding out the ways that they think about the world